So I'm going to do a quick overview of this VTech Pre-Computer 1000. i uh, show you very quickly an idea of what the games are like, but I'm going to focus a little bit more on the fact that you can actually program this, and it has some uh, nine built-in programs, uh, starting with really simple to relatively complex. Uh, it's from 1988, so let me show you what uh, how it works. It works on 6C batteries. It does have uh, an additional power supply that you can use. So we'll turn it on. You can see it's copyright 1988. Select activities. So let me give you an idea. I'm going to do general knowledge. General knowledge with most of these general information games, quiz type games, there's four level. One being the easiest, four being the most difficult. Let's see how smart I am. Go with four. Number of players, one versus two. Now it will slowly print out the question. A tropical cyclone with strong winds, rain, etc., is a. So I'm hoping it's a typhoon. Um, so let me try to type that in T I P H O N. Sounds good. So what will happen is it'll give each, it'll give you three chances to get each question correct. Um, if you don't get it right after three, you will uh, it'll give you the answer. There is an answer button if you want to kind of give up and get the question answered right away. So what you just saw is an example of general knowledge. And essentially, history is the same thing with history questions. Same thing, geography questions. Again, always letting you pick one to four levels, one to two people. Same thing for science. Uh, let me show you math. Math has a few more features. There's a quiz. There's fractions, decimals, mixed calculation, and story problems, which I haven't tried yet. So let's try story problems. What is... The area, oh gosh, of a rug that is 20, 282 centimeters on one side and 106 centimeters on the other. All right, so I could do the math, but uh, I'm just going to do the answer and press the answer button. So the correct answer. So you get a sense of what the math games look like. There's a calculator. Uh, there is a cartridge. I don't have any cartridges to try. Quick show you games. There's typing fun, which actually is fun. Hangman, which is self-explanatory. And scramble. Let me quickly show you the typing game. So I'm going to select one. There's two levels. Two is harder and it's faster. What you're basically having to do is you have three lives and you're trying to get as many points as you can. So I have to type this, J, W, X, C. I'm supposed to press J, if I press H, it'll beep. J, O, X, J. Oh, X, actually, I guess I didn't press X, no. So I'm gonna let it go. I essentially lose a life, so now I only have two lives left, and I only got four correct. So I'm gonna, you can keep going like that. And if you do well, it actually will go faster and faster. So it actually does challenge you. Scramble. He has four levels. I'm going to do an easy one. All right, so I'm not sure what this is, actually. So let me just do the answer real quick. Revival. God, that is not easy. <laughs> the other game is a typing course, which simply lets you practice typing skills. And it goes from real simple, where you're just learning you know, one, one row of the keys, to having to do uh, lowercase and uppercase, numbers, things like that. So it's it's meant to increase your typing skills. But what I want to show you is the computer drills. And there's some example programs. And then you can actually uh, use it to program. So I'm going to show you the games real fast. So I'm going to do one, which is the pre-done games. So it's up programs, and you're going to select one through nine. So here's number one. So a couple quirky things about this, it'll show you a blank screen. You have to type run, 
And in between, like it, it's gonna say I am, I have to press enter again. It says pre-computer, press enter again. What is your name? So I'm typing in David, press enter. Hello, I, got, I have to press enter again to kind of make it go to the next line of the program. Hello, David. How old are you? All right, let's pretend I'm 50. So, David, you are 50 years old. I hope we have fun. And that's the whole program. What's interesting is you can list it. And again, this is a simple program. So you can kind of see that it's just asking for a couple of different variables and it's putting together a sentence. So real kind of simple uh, program, nine different lines. So we'll do number two. And again, I got to type run. This is trying to find out how much of a glutton you are. So it says, how many French fries did you eat? So I ate 22 French fries. How many inches was each French fry? Well, two. So you just ate a 44 inch French fry. So super simple program that you would learn in, you know, on your first week of computing. Program three. So you can see that all that is is actually playing tones. But what's helpful about that is that you can see, as you look at the list, what the uh, command is to make sounds. So I'll use that in a second when I do a basic program. So this is built in program four. This is a timer. Uh, you can put in however many minutes you want, however many seconds you want, and it'll kind of keep track. So I'm not gonna bore the crap out of you. Zero minutes, five seconds. And once I hit enter, it'll kind of count off. And zero, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. So I'm gonna put in minutes, input seconds. And then there's some loops here that uh, obviously let it kind of count off the seconds. So again, a little bit more sophisticated. Program five. So for this one, the computer has a number between one and 100, and you have to try to figure it out. So it's kind of, again, a classic one. So you always start with 50. That's too high. All right. I got press return. 25. Still too high. Let's try 15. Still too high. Wow. Still too, wow, no kidding. Are you serious? It's like one. <laughs> oh, I, so, wow, so I, I did poorly, but more sophisticated, right? So some randoms in there, some if thens, comparing. Sample program number six. So for this one, it's going to guess my age. So I, I'm gonna pretend I'm 50. Um, first, it wants me to double it. So 50 times two is obviously 100. Then I need to add 10. So now I'm up to 110. I have to now times it by 10. So I'm at 1,100. Now I have to divide it by two. So I'm at 550. And finally, I need to subtract 100, which gives me 450. So it says now type in that number, 450. And my age is 50. Program seven. I don't understand this one. It's something about satellite. You have to put in the height of the satellite, the diameter of the planet in meters, speed of the satellite in meters per second. Yeah, so I don't know. Somebody could tell me what that is. So I guess, oh, how many revolutions? makes a day okay so that's that's at least a sophisticated math problem sample program eight all this does is alphabetize so i'm not going to show you this one it asks you to put in a bunch of animals so i would put in dog cat ox whatever it is and it would then show me where it would alphabetize those um, so i'm going to actually break and list it so this again for, again for somebody who doesn't do programming this is pretty sophisticated um so there's, you're going to input 10 animals, 
and there's a way for it to obviously compare the letters, the first letters, and alphabetize these. And, and I've done it, and it does work. Not too surprisingly. So the last program, and to my way of thinking, the most sophisticated, um, it's, it's kind of a Dr. Nim. Uh, if you know Dr. Nim, the idea is that there's some, it's a, it's a machine, but it's trying to get you to take the last marble, and there's some kind of cogs and things like that, and depending on how you do it, it will win every time. There are some tricks in which you can win. So this is basically a computerized version of that, and so it's going to give you the instructions here. It says you may take from one to three sticks at once. The object is not to take the last stick. So if you take the last stick, you lose. So start with how many sticks. So you can tell it how many sticks you want us to start with. So I'm just gonna do uh, 15. Do you wanna go first or not? And I'm gonna say no. I think typically if you don't go first, you're pretty much doomed. So I, the computer says, I take two. So obviously it's gonna say the six left are 13. All right, so I can take one, two, or three. And if it says, you know, take how many? If I try to put in five, it won't let me. So I'm gonna to have to do one, two, or three. I'm gonna do three. And it takes one, nine. All right, so it's my turn. Take how many, I'm gonna take two. So obviously I'm down to seven. It's gonna take, and generally it met, so I took two, it's gonna take two. Now it's down to five. So I'm in trouble here. So I'm going to take one, but it's just going to take three, and I lose. Sticks left, one, take how many? And if I try to do two, you lose. Okay, so no matter what, I lost there. So it, it, it works pretty well. But to me, that's relatively sophisticated. I'm done showing you this sample program, so now I want to show you how you can program. So we're going to do two. And it's going to do pre-basic version 1.0. So I've programmed a very simple three-line program. I'm going to show it to you. So here's the list. For x equals 1 to 31. And that's that sound command. So it's going to play sound 1. And this is the duration. So I could make this longer. You know, it could be 2, 3, 4. I'm not sure what it goes up to. And it's just going to do next. So this is what it's going to sound like. does have a 32 note capacity zero is a pause and so again this is a very simple program but you've seen in the other things what you can do um, I'm not aware of any way to save it um, so that would be one of the limitations you can imagine trying to do some sophisticated program and then it's gone uh, obviously you have a tiny screen to work on so from my standpoint this is a relatively interesting uh, computer from 1988 so it's kind of early tech but it lets you do a fair amount. And I can imagine having a lot of fun with this as a kid. I have having a lot of fun with it as, a, as an old man. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to comment below. I searched thrift stores, Goodwills, garage sales, and more for possible treasures. Then I decide whether to purchase or pass. Watch what I do and decide for yourself. Would you buy it?